Hello, welcome to this video, which is going to be a different video today, a more serious video, being titled, It's Okay to Be Human. So, um, before we get into this, if you're not mature enough, like if you're a child, um, there are going to be some more mature themes so i uh, skip to later because I will be discussing other things later because I'm strange and I guess there's always more to talk about but this video is going to be more serious and um, yeah. So what do I mean by it's okay to be human? I think it's okay to be imperfect because nothing is perfect. You are you and you are the best at being you. Be yourself. Like, don't let others, like, pull you down. Like, it's okay to have, like, flaws and, like, be yourself. Just... Do you, because no one else is you than you, so don't let other people's, like, opinions, like, get to you, because they probably have their own problems and are just, like, projecting and trying to hurt others to make them feel bad when they're not feeling great, probably, on the inside. So they spread their negativity, which is very commonplace on like the internet where toxicity is everywhere. It's in all sorts of fan bases, all sorts of things, anger, hate, all these are normal like human emotions. So this video is just to be like try to get some more positivity in the world because like we all fail we all make mistakes but I think it's important to learn from those mistakes and speaking of mistakes I'm going to be honest and um, admit to like my mistakes I've made in the past because I already did it on stream might as well do it here on a video that will be remembered for as long as YouTube stands and I guess humanity because it'll probably stand as long as the internet is around but um I'm gonna admit to my own failures and what I've done in the past my personal failures so um Let's get to the big three. I'm just calling it that because I don't have another name of the three friends that I abandoned, which was mentioned on stream. Um, but, um, so the first friend I abandoned was Elsie. So in grade three, I was friends with this guy named Daniel doesn't really matter um but uh, we had a break from being friends and uh during grade four I would have a new friend which would be Elsie but after grade four I would abandon her to go back to Daniel's so it, it was my first time of making that mistake and I really regret because later Elsie would defend me in like another drama um, which was uh, unlike the Rogers drama. We'll get to that later. We'll get to that later in the video. Drama is in my life. Um, but um in the first drama of my life, 
one of my old friends named Christy um, rejoined the group, but I, I sort of was at the bottom of like the food chain and was forgotten about and sort of neglected from the group. And Christy had basically become a douche and uh, took over the group basically sort of um yeah so I went from friend to like enemy so I guess frenemy I guess <laughs> oh god but um seriously um it, it was my first dealing with drama and Elsie like helped me at some point so definitely adds to like more of the regret of abandoning Elsie when she was like a true friend where the other two friends, Daniel and another guy, I won't name him. Not gonna name everyone, but um um they they basically abandoned me and um at the time and yeah. Um so yeah. It was my first dealing with drama, but not the last, not the last, but, um, yeah. So definitely I regret, uh, leaving Elsie. Before we get to the other big two, another thing happened in grade four where me being a little child, little children don't always know everything about the world. So I was unintentionally uh, uh, sexist, kind of. Because, you know, like kids, they don't know what's like right and wrong sometimes. Like, sometimes they'll say something and don't know, like it's racist or sexist. Like, so in the case of me being accidentally sexist, um. It was, I didn't want to have a girl name. Yeah, it's just simple as that. I didn't want a girl name. But, um, basically it escalated at one point where, like, a ton of people were calling me Sabrina because my actual name's Sebastian, as I've probably mentioned in the past in, like, one of the Michael videos and um, probably on stream and stuff but um, yeah I'm Sebastian that's my real name um, but yeah they were calling me Sabrina it escalated to a point where like basically half the class was like just calling me that like lunch break and I accidentally kicked one of my friends and my, for the one and only time in my life I went to principal's office. Never went to the principal office before or after then. That was the only time in my life and it was one of my greatest fears like I, I never wanted to do, like, wrong, like, I, I've always been sort of one to try and follow rules, but, um, in that case, um, I actually went to principal's office, so, yeah, it, it was a time where one of the things I didn't want to happen happened, and, yeah, Another example of me following rules to letters, no hat, no play, which was like the rule, like, if you don't have your hat, you can't, like, play in, like, the school grounds, and, uh, yeah, um, I took that so literally I hid in the classroom. I hid in the classroom, yeah. So, I, I sometimes take rules a bit too literally in my own parts. Generally now I'll follow rules but like not to absolute dot dying like letter like there's room for you know movement. But um on to the the second 
person I abandon, which this one will sound like a joke because of just the memes, but it happened in Among Us. Yes, Among Us. I am not joking. This is 100% serious right now. Hopefully that is coming across through, like, my voice. Not really actions. I'm just standing here in front of a mirror as Michael. Well, at least the avatar I used for Michael. But, um, in Among Us, I made a friend in Among Us. Um, this was 2020. Um, before I would start to be on VR chat. Um, um, so I had this friend named Joker, um, who was just someone I hanged out commonly with on Among Us. We friended each other. But one thing I did was to have my alt account being on my phone, um, to be like a second set of eyes for me. Which um, I would have on like admin or security cameras, um, and uh, I I used that account because I, I I was cheeky using double accounts. I, I was younger then. I was eighteen in twenty twenty. Now I'm twenty. Uh, soon going to turn twenty one and. 2023, like, oh lord, time flies. But, um, basically, Joker came to the assumption that it was my bra because initially that was like my joke lie, like my white lie, like, oh yeah, this is my brother. This explains why he has the same, like, name as me almost identically. When it was just me, it was just me using my phone and my, like, computer. So, yeah, um, eventually the joke went on for long enough that I was getting sick of it, like, okay, this is enough, enough is enough, this is not my brother, seriously, I do not have a brother, <laughs> come on, stop joking around, this ain't my brother, but they kept going and going, and eventually I was like, oh god, I don't want to be stuck on loop, I, I, I give up. So, um, I defriended them and, uh, left, uh, so, um, that would stop me from playing Among Us, um, so I abandoned them. So, compared to, like, Elsie, it wasn't, like, a serious abandoned thing, it was more like, I'm just sick of you, I'm impatient, I'm leaving, so the first one was actual proper abandonment that I regret. That one I regret a little bit less, but I still regret because they were cool. I shouldn't have, like, unfriended them, but I was just really impatient, sick of it, so I, I gave up. So, yeah. Joke if you happen to see this video somehow. Sorry, mate, but um, I only have so much patience. But yeah, the first one with Elsie, I definitely regret. Second one, less so, but it's mainly because of impatience. And it wasn't a proper, like, abandonment thing, like... They, they had another friend, so it, it's not like we had become, like, best friends in, like, the, the small time we had been playing Among Us. We were just, like, friends that played together on Among Us. Not a serious friendship, um, but, um, 
the third and last time would be um, December 2020 slash like January 2021, but I think it was more December of 2020. So, as I mentioned, I was 18 um, in 2020, and um, up until that point in my life, I never really went out, I never really went outside, I hadn't really experience the real world and like all the nuance so like in, in my mind like I, I I was a bit like afraid of like confronting the real world like stepping into like the real world because I was starting to realize oh god the world's unpredictable what do I do like what happens like next in my life like what's the next step but um before like I would get to like realizing more about the real world one of my first friends on VR chat named X Jean um would um be one of my friends and they were having a rough patch in their lives seem like they weren't like mentally happy and since I had never really dealt with that situation I had no idea how to handle that at that point so I ran I abandoned them which is another case of severe like regret like I, I shouldn't have left them, I should have tried to be a good friend and help them through like their mental struggles but in that scenario, like that place, I was just not ready. I had been in like my own like small life, like never really exposed to a real world, I wasn't prepared so I failed them and if you ever see this ex gene or even Elsie or Joker I I'm sorry to all three of you like I I'm generally sorry especially to Elsie and X Gene. Those two were the my biggest failures. So yeah. So I banded three friends and it's definitely something I do not want to do again and I'm pretty certain I will not do because I think I've learnt from my mistake just sometimes it takes a long time to realise and it wouldn't be like until like further into like the year of 2021 that I would realize that the world is complicated but sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches and I've gained a lot of maturity in the last like two years of my life more than like the 18 beforehand if it wasn't for like VR chat and stuff, um, like, I, I don't know where I would be right now, I honestly don't, I, one thing is for certain, if I never went on to VR chat, this channel right here would not exist, or at least not exist in the same way with me doing my characters of Michael and Jimmy, like, if I had never went on to VR chat and met Weezing Nut or Kim Neko as she's now known, um, like, she would have, like, done the role play, which would have, like, inspire, like, all, all the characters, like, Rogers and stuff, which would have led to, like, it, that would have led to, like, Riku, 
who was Rogers um, doing the recording which would inspire me to record an episode and eventually leading me to create my YouTube channel. And uh, as is today with my first like public video being like Carter Yeats um, Noble Six but my first official video was the Fever Dream video but that was unlisted for a while until I eventually um, made it public um, but um Everything about my channel would have existed if it wasn't for, like, Rogers and the Roleplay. Which brings us to the, the second drama of my life, other than the Christie incident, which is the whole thing with Rogers and all that. So recently I got closure. I finally had a, a talk to the other person on the other side and I have realized what I realized from the start. Drama is bad and unnecessary because I just don't like drama. Drama is pointless. It always hurts up, like ends up hurting like everyone involved. Drama is just not fun. It is not fun at all. And what I also thought was correct. Both sides were correct and wrong at the same time. Both sides made mistakes. Both sides did right things in certain aspects. And there was information on both sides. So, uh, as I thought from sort of the get-go once I really started to consider things about drama is that there's no winning side. Drama is just like war. There's no winning sides. Conflict never wins anything. It only leaves scars that will like never heal. And yeah, so forever there will be a divide between the two sides. Rogers, the character, will never properly come back. I mean, I'm still, like, bringing back the old clips and Rogers will sometimes, like, appear here and there, but otherwise... Rogers is gone. It'll never return. And if it does, like, return, it would never be the same. So, I doubt I would do it. I think I would move on to making some new quirky character. I don't know. Because I don't want it to just be like a copy of Rogers. Because I feel like any quirky character I do would just be a copy of Rogers. Because forever Rogers will be in my mind. So inevitably they will take traits from Rogers. When I eventually commit to... The idea because I do want to do something a bit more quirky because Michael in terms of improv is the straight man. He he's the one who's normal. He's not the wacky weird side one. Usually the wacky weird is whatever Michael is dealing with currently. Like Michael has the role with the punches. So Michael is the straight man, so is Jimmy. Both of them are the straight man. But uh, Jimmy is a bit more light-hearted and isn't as grey as Michael. Like, Michael is morally grey of a character. He's murdered people. He's 
less good, but still is trying to, like, save the world with real good change. Like, he's still ultimately good, but does have, like, a lot of flaws, unlike Jimmy, who's a lot more pure and innocent. But, um, yeah, um... But yeah, Michael's the straight man, and uh, the the wacky weird sidekick doesn't really exist anymore because Rogers is gone. So I've wanted to do something new, some new character, probably similar to Rogers, but I just don't want to copy from what was already great and what I already liked. So, yeah, but, um, yeah, but, um, yeah, so many things wouldn't have existed without Rogers and the group, but since drama happened, the divide will forever be there, and I'll forever be stuck in the middle, being friends with both sides. So, yeah, um, it, it's definitely a complicated situation, but it's long past, it's the history now, it, it's history, the history, god damn me, uh, can't do English, English is not my specialty, even though I, I, that's my normal language, that's my main language, that's the language I was born and raised on, English. God damn, I'm Australian, uh, English is the main language here. Uh, but yeah, so I've failed a lot, a lot has happened in my life, but... I think all the mistakes and all the, like, parts of my life have made me who I am. It's made me stronger. It's made me the person I am. And it's made me, like, strong enough to, like, try and, like, do this sort of stuff. Have this sort of confidence to do YouTube and all sorts of other stuff like the Arch and yeah I I don't know where I would be without the Chat, honestly. The Chat is probably the most important game of my life so far. Like it's the one that's left the most impact. Like, there's other games that I like, like the Stanley Parable, Halo, like, lots of different games, but, um, VRChat has left the most impact. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. I, I think it's okay to be human, so just be you, be yourself, because no one else can be you, like, you are you, and don't let the world drag you down, never let the world drag you down, and never, like, surrender, always try, like, if you fail, don't worry about it, you'll always be able to try again. Unless you fail real bad and, like, die somehow, like, you always have a, another chance, like... Unless you fail, like, real bad, it will not matter. It makes you stronger through those failures. I don't think I would be as strong as I am without my failures. And I'm certain, like, in the future, probably I'll see, like, 
comments that'll judge me for like my failures, but I don't care. Like, I know they're coming, so I, I don't care if the world tries to be negative towards me, I'll just roll with the punches. I mean, Michael already has the roll with the punches I throw at him, with the scenarios I put him in, like, sometimes you just gotta roll with it, roll with life, and yeah. And hopefully this will help you. And if you need, like, serious help, go find it. It isn't bad to, like, ask for help. It isn't bad to look for help. There's all sorts of help out there. So if you need help, go find it. Like, even if you don't want to find, like professional medical help, just find a friend. There's plenty of people out there, like, both in the real world and, like, the virtual world. So if you're not comfortable with real life, go on to, like, VR chat or something else that's social and, like, fun. Like, just find, like, someone that relates and I'm sure that you can stick together and be better and roll with life because life is hard. Life is strange. It's always going in a billion different directions. It really is like sometimes like the multiverse is really here in our world even though we don't have magic or whatever, or like, all the fantasy like stuff or sci-fi stuff. Sometimes life is just like an anomaly. Honestly, existence at this point is an anomaly. I'm an anomaly. Have you seen how many videos I've scheduled? 500 plus videos scheduled. I mean, it's insane how many videos I've scheduled. Like, looking at me, you think I'm insane, yet here I am, talking like a normal person, like, whatever you can consider normal these days, because nothing's normal. Nothing is standard. Nothing is ordinary. Everything is unique and interesting so that means you are unique and interesting don't let anyone else tell you you're plain or boring or don't let people take you down because you are unique you are special and yeah honestly it Life is just a roller coaster, and hopefully, this year 2023 can be a lot better. Because honestly, for me personally, I want a good year. Like 2022 was okay, definitely getting better, but still not great. 2021 was really the forgettable year. Like, other than VR chat stuff, I barely remember what went on. I don't even remember what happened on New Year's Eve, like, of 2021. Like, obviously I remember 2022. It was only a small time ago, like. But I remember 2020's New Year for me. Hanging out with friends on VR chat, some of my earlier friends that I'm no longer really friends with because you don't always keep your friends forever. Like some friendships just end, they just fade. Like nothing was bad with the relationship, just sometimes you don't stay friends with someone forever. Like you were friends, but eventually the feeling just fades and you're no longer 
friends with that person, like, you have no bad feelings towards that person, just your interests no longer really line up, so you just sort of split apart, fade away, like, you don't dislike the person, you just, like, fade from them, you know what I mean? You, you probably do if you ever had a friendship that just sort of ends, like, you, you were probably maybe strong friends with them once, but eventually friendships just sort of end. And especially for me, like on VRChat where I've met hundreds of people and have 300 plus friends in my account, which is unbelievable, but it's true. Sometimes those friends were just for a small time, but even just a small time friend was better than no friends at all, you know, but yeah, life is just wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff, I am a Doctor Who fan, <laughs> oh god, and I'm silly, I'm crazy, I'm mad, I'm Weird, but that's humanity. We're all weird in our own way. So just be you. Be you. Because no one else can be you. And maybe consider sharing this to someone else because maybe someone else will need this. Like, I don't know. I'm not the best speaker and I don't know if I'll make too much of a difference but hopefully I can make a small difference because sometimes all you need to do is make small changes to try and create a bigger change sometimes you just need to take small steps and yeah but um yeah life is weird I'm honestly not certain when to end this, like, video. But uh, to recap my points, failure is important for growth. Like, don't be sad that you fail. Like, failure is important. Consequences must happen, I guess. Unforeseen consequences, Dr. Freeman. God damn, Half-Life as well, I really am a nerd. <laughs> uh, God damn. But yeah, make friends, just be you, like, no one else is you than you, like, I, I honestly don't know what to say. Um, yeah. Because, yeah, I don't know when to stop, like, the serious part because there's other things I do want to talk about because I mentioned that at the start of the video, but thank you if you stuck to the end of the video, but, um, yeah, just be you, be you, but, um, yeah, I guess I'll go into the non-serious part now I guess even though it's sort of like a tonal shift but um yeah um so uh recently I um started watching Rick and Morty and realized there's a lot of characters named Michael in it I was like Oh no, I did the same joke as Rick and Morty where there's a bunch of like characters named similarly to Michael like Mikkel and Mikkel and uh, so far no others, oh wait, um, the Mikael as well, but um, uh, yeah, I keep naming characters similar to Michael as a joke 
And I realise that's the same joke, similar to like Rick and Morty. And I'll probably reference one Michael at some point where it's like Combrobulous uh, Michael who says like, Oh boy, here I go killing again. Which would fit so perfectly to Michael. Like, he's always like killing people, doing like things that might be seen as bad, but like he's ultimately doing it for probably good reasons. I mean, Combrobulous Michael was going to kill a gas orb in that episode that ultimately wanted to like destroy all carbon based life forms so you know Michael that Michael is perfectly justified to go kill that gas blob like yeah so sometimes you just gotta kill you know like sometimes in stories I'm obviously being like, uh, I think the word's like, facetious, goddamn English, um, I, I, I think the word's facetious, um, killing in stories, sometimes you just gotta kill, real life doesn't work like that, don't kill people, be morally good, I guess we're going back to serious, like, be morally good like you you can have your own set of morals just don't don't kill people or like harm people I think those are good roles to like follow just be you but don't really like harm people like it's fine to annoy your friends but don't just annoy them and like egg on random people like you have no idea what another person's going through so just be kind be kind I, I'm glad that I went back to like like serious because I almost forgot the point about morality until that point, so yeah, but um, yeah, but yeah, I, I watched uh, Rick and Morty now, so yeah, finally got around to watching it, can't wait until season 7, seems like it'll be important, and I want to see how it goes. Because I'm definitely a sucker for story. If it isn't obvious from me doing my own story on my own characters. But, um, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Just be human. Be you. And be, like, following, like, laws and stuff. Like, don't break the law. And also, another important tip, drink water. <laughs> Two people didn't drink enough water on New Year's. God damn, like, cut them a goddamn puke. That wasn't a pleasant thing to hear. Drink water, for the love of God, drink water. Which is also a point I should apply to myself right now, like, and, uh, yeah, um, because it is summer right now, so it is hot, uh, goddamn Australian summer, but, um, yeah, but, yeah, watch Rick and Moy. So, yeah. And, uh, last but not least is what's next? What comes after? What's my plans for the future? Like, because might as well 
update you on like what's coming, like what's going to come out and stuff for the future of like my channel. Um, definitely more videos of Michael, Jimmy, you know, probably some clips and stuff from time to time, maybe some stuff of other people with me, obviously there's Jimmy and Axel, which has Sky Slayer, go check out Sky Slayer, now I've got a link them in the description for later, I already have to edit in something at the beginning, being the timestamp, um, and I also have to do a unique thumbnail because I don't want to just be it, me staring at a mirror as Michael, so I'm going to have, like, text being, it's okay to be human. And, um, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, that'll be the thumbnail for this video. You probably already saw it. Which will probably just be text on, like, a white background. Um, and, yeah. Um, yeah, more stuff's coming out. And, uh, definitely look forward to, I guess, um, April, because that's two years of the channel, and, uh, also later this month, when I eventually do, uh, my one year, not one year, two year of streaming, because it's been two years, um, two years special of streaming dreaming and stuff because obviously two years of YouTube and because I started really in April sort of and uh two years in from January because that's when I started streaming because I started streaming before the channel was really properly begun but um yeah um, so that's it for this video, so just be human, be you, just do your life as you want, you are you, live your life how you want to live, no one's stopping you, people try and slow you down, but don't let them. Don't let them control your life. You control your life. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. It was definitely a bit different having a serious video and one where I talked like a lot about me and my past so you know me a lot more now than you did before you watched this video, like, now you know more about my life and stuff, so, yeah, so, thank you for watching, I hope you all do well, and peace out, until the next time, peace.